and welcome back to part three of the Tempest Drum Mag Tech video. So in part two, I already showed you how to change the spring tension and how to release the follower arm um, while under tension. So basically follow the last video and uh, we need to remove the uh, feed chain and to release all the spring tension that so that you could um, take the whole thing apart. So I've already done that. Um, you're going to need a few extra tools to uh, to remove the rest of the drum mag. Again, they're fine. They're found in your uh, Milsic professional service tool set. So I need a small Phillips screwdriver to remove these four screws. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Sometimes the screws get. They don't want to come out. And there we go. Oh, there we go. So we got all four. So I'm going to close it back up, turn it, turn it over. We need to remove this lock ring which uh, locks onto your pivot arm. So you're going to need a 2 millimeter Allen wrench. There are two set screws that I need to remove here. So I'll go ahead and remove these. Okay, so now that's done we could actually uh, turn this lock off and remove the winding plate Okay, so as, as I pull off the winding plate I'm going to reveal this, the clock spring that's inside Okay, so if you're playing around your, with your drum egg and you dry release it and eventually it doesn't lock it's because you have broken this follower lock. I'm going to show you how to change this in a second. So this little guy right here, this is what's catching um, the, the winding plate, these little little cuts. It's what's making the clack 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 sound as you're turning. So it's basically locking the plate and the arm in place. So you notice that there's a little bit of oil here. Um, this is a, a steel spring so you do need to uh, oil it regularly. So just a couple dabs of uh, SOS oil in here will do the trick. Um, if for whatever reason you know your your damage or broke the clock spring, you could actually replace it. Um, just make sure that you wear gloves when you when you install this because um, it's very sharp. You want to cut your fingers, and basically you do it. It's got two little cutouts here that connects to another end. One end connects to the pivot arm, the other end connects to the body. So basically, your um, your drum mag body is in two pieces, in two halves. You have the main drum body, which is this side, the right side, and over here you have the feet channel plate. So I'm going to go ahead, turn it over, okay, and I'm going to I'm going to show you how to pop this right out. So you basically lift up the spring, and you can actually push the pivot arm right out, okay. So you notice I just pushed it all the way in, and I want to put this on the side like so. Okay, so you notice your pivot arm, it's got the, um, the arm itself, the pivot arm shaft, and the pin, and the pin actually falls out. Okay, so if, if it does, just push it back on this end and go through. So now I got everything out. I should be able to separate the two halves. Okay, notice how easily this comes apart. Just kind of wiggle it. All right, and then you have your main drum body, your feet plate, and your feet neck. So a couple months ago, I did a video, or when we first announced this, announced this product, we said we're going to have a, a longer neck that uh, that would allow you to use this on TPX pistol. We still haven't finished it yet. Um, we're a little bit behind with our production uh, product releases, but it will involve a separate neck here and a longer feet chain, which will allow you to use this in, in the TPX. So hopefully we get that done in the next couple months. So I'm going to go ahead and put this down. So this is the part that ends up breaking, the follower lock. 
So it's a little plastic piece, and you know the next question is, well, if you guys know it breaks, um, why don't you make it stronger? It's because we want to have a part that gives away rather than you wearing all these gears and then you end up replacing multiple parts. Um, so if this, this ever breaks on you, just buy another one. Um, we make this available. You need a very small um, little Allen screwdriver to remove the screw and then you put in a new one. Obviously this one is not broken. I just want to show you how to access this. Um, so you basically take the screw out, pop a new one in, make sure the spring catches and then uh, you're good to go. Um, if for whatever reason you know you break even more parts you would have to uh, replace the body sorry I just pulled this off camera you would have to remove you know replace the body um, we will also make these available for you so basically once you change this over reverse the product uh, reverse the process and you can put everything back so should you have more questions for us Go ahead and uh, send me an email or contact one of our direct distributors and we'll help you out. Thank you very much for watching.